Hi, we're talking about trench pitch. Now, this is really, really important. This is the area where uh, most people who install uh, drainage, uh, DIYs or even contractors, really mess up. So um, there, these are just some core concepts, some things to think about, and you're going to have to exercise these things in the field. So just uh, if you ask questions, if you have them, and really commit yourself to understanding these concepts. And I'm going to talk about some of the common uh, overcorrections we see and then uh, you know, what to avoid. So here's our first example. So in, in each of these examples, I've drew, I, I drew like a, a little swale that comes up and then goes down low. And uh, I have two examples here that don't do and one to do. So the right way to do is our, like we talked about earlier, the 11 inch depth of, let's say it's a four inch uh, pipe, you'd be 11 inches. You're gonna go down here, you're gonna keep your trench flat or down downhill. Now, um, when you're in challenging situations, flat is okay. It has to be flat to going slightly downhill. You can't come back, you can't raise that pipe up at all. At no point is this pipe able to come up. So the trench here is represented by the blue line, the dotted line here. And you see my trench is staying flat, 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 and then it's starting to come down. And we only go deeper right where it comes uphill. So we kind of just, once we get, we start our depth here, which is our normal depth, and then we have to, to keep on going, and then we have to make sure that our trench is either going flat or downhill, no matter what the height of the ground is up above it. So um, yeah, the one thing I could have uh, pointed to that I didn't represent here is that this needs to stay 11 inches as well. But this, if the ground comes up, this requires that you dig deeper in order to go down and maintain a, a, uh, a trench, or maintain a downward trench. Because over here we have water, like water will pool in this area, and uh, we're gonna be draining it. So we might put a catch basin right here, and then we're just gonna drain our water out that direction all underground. Um, this is the most common mistake that people do. They'll just run their trencher, or just run a trench 11 inches deep, 11 inches deep, 11 inches deep. Problem is it went uphill. In this situation, none of this water is going to drain because it's going to come up here, it's going to lock, it's going to go uphill. This is going to be higher than everything over here, and so this is just going to fill the water. If you got a lot of water, it might flow some down, but this is where most people make the mistake. Now, uh, so just focus on never doing that, never uh, allowing your pipe to go uphill. Using a level when you're installing will save you from that. Um, we also have lasers that will help you to see larger spans really easily. Now, here's a drastic example of a, of a mistake we've seen that can happen when you're trying to figure these things out and you're not really sure. Um, so what you do is just overcompensate. You know what? I know that it needs to be that deep, and so I'm just gonna dig that deep from the beginning. Problem is, it's entirely too much dirt. It's entirely too much work, and it winds up causing so many other issues because when we go too deep, there's other things in the ground. Uh, first of all, we don't have the equipment typically to go four feet deep all the time. Um, we can, but it's not. Uh, we, we, that's not an effective way to do drainage. So don't overcompensate because you don't know. Um, if, if you don't know, think about it, take some time, ask some questions. But this is going to be your best way. Start at 11 inches. Start at your standard depth. If it's a 4 inch pipe, 11 inches. If it's a 6 inch pipe, it's 14 inches. That's your depth. That's what the pipe needs to be. So uh, you can start there and then make sure it's going downhill. Uh, downhill or level. If you get into tough spots, you can stay level, and that's okay, because water will flow. As long as it's continuing to go downhill, it doesn't come up at any point. And uh, so don't go up with the slope, and don't just go super deep just because you don't know, uh, because this will turn a one-day job into a three-day job, no problem. I'm gonna address one more issue uh, that can trip you up if you're not paying attention. Um, when you start a system, that is uh, starts with a catch basin. What can happen is because you have to install the catch basin lower than the the, call, the catch basin uh, trench is going to deep, be deeper than your actual pipe because the catch basin has a sump. This area is called the sump. This area is going to be below. So the common mistake can be is if you start with the catch basin, you dig this down. 
This might be 18 inches deep, something like that, right? That might be 18 inches deep. And then what will happen? You dug down this far, and then you're not thinking about it. You're like, oh, I've just got to keep on going. I keep my depth. I've got to keep my depth going 18 inches deep. And then you wind up digging, over excavating everywhere. You don't realize it till later or after you've already gotten a few things installed. You do not need to continue your trench depth like this. So yeah, like if you if you did this in this situation, like let's say you're going around, you have your trench, this is your trench bottom right here. Then, oh, I gotta dig out my catch basin. You don't want to continue to dig your trench out that deep. You can bring your trench back up to the pipe level and then you continue your trench right up here. So you want to make sure not to start excavating your whole trench based on the catch basin. You're going to be basing it off of the pipe level and that will save you from over excavation. This area right here, right, this is 11 inches for a four inch pipe, 11 inches right there. Okay, not this 18 inches, not this huge area. This can trip you up, and especially in flat properties, you can wind up getting into a big world of hurt with, um, with different areas where you have to go really, really deep over uh, utilities or something like that. So make sure you don't over excavate for no reason. Um, you're going to keep your trench depth 11 inches, your normal depth, get to your catch basin, go dig it out as you need to, go around, and then you're going to restore your trench back to that level. You want to make sure that this, that, that right here is lower than right here. If we're going, if it's going that direction, right? You want to make sure your trench is continuing to go downhill. So uh, avoid that mistake. Don't set your whole trench based off of the catch basin depth.